Jyotirmoyi Devi, 1896-1988, was an Indian writer in the early 20th century. She wrote predominantly about women in the Rajasthan of her childhood and in what is now West Bengal at the time of partition. Biography, colon. Jyotirmoyi Devi was born in the princely state of Jaipur in 1894, where her family had lived since 1857. Her father, Abhinash Chandrasen, was the eldest son of Sansar Chandrasen who had come to Jaipur as a schoolmaster but quickly rose to the post of Diwan to the Maharaja of Jaipur. Jyotirmoyi grew up in Jaipur, receiving little formal education but observing keenly all that she saw around her. She was much impressed by the mixture of decadence and splendor that characterized the society of the Zenana, women's quarters, in a princely state of the time. Jyotirmoyi was allowed to read whatever she liked in her grandfather's well-stocked library and thus acquired a rather eclectic exposure to the world. At the age of ten she was married to a lawyer, Kiran Chandrasen, from a literary and aristocratic family from Guptipura, who were well known to many of the leading figures of Bengali literature. Jyotirmoyi might never have written had she not tragically lost her husband in 1918 due to influenza. Barely 25 years old, with six small children, Amiya, Anubha, Arun Chandra, Asoka, Amitava, and Anjali. She returned to her parents' house, leaving one child with her husband's family. There she lived under the rigid rules of orthodox Hindu widowhood, rules which she continued to observe punctiliously even though she began to question their basis. In her abandonment, Jyotirmoyi turned to literature for solace. She read John Stuart Mill's On the Subjection of Women which she got from her grandpa, and this led her to think deeply on the question of women's rights. Conservative in her own behavior, she nevertheless made it a rule always to treat her sons and daughters equally. She now began to write the trenchant, luminous Bengali short stories for which she is remembered. Set in Rajasthan, Delhi and Bengal, they are unsentimental yet deeply sympathetic. Richly detailed yet intellectually limpid. She also has non-fiction to her credit, writing especially about the rights of women and Dalits. Her collection of short stories, Sonarupa Noi, Not Gold and Silver, won the Rabindra Puraskar in 1973. From 1959 to 1988, she resided in the Shyamazar area at 2G, Kartik Bose Lane, Kolkata 700006. Style, colon. Her poems as well as her stories are written so that anyone and everyone can understand them. Yet the message conveyed was as strong as a brick. No use of sophisticated vocabulary is a great feature of her writing, also practiced by Swami Vivekananda in his speeches. Her writing is based on real-life experience and learning. She might not have been formally educated but that was no wall to her writing. A great inspiration for anyone wanting to write but is not confident about doing so. Books, colon. Her books are available in various stores in Kolkata as well as other places. The short story, Daini is part of the Bengali syllabus of Indian Certificate of Secondary Education. Her daughter Asoka was in charge of her books but unfortunately she died in June, 2008. Much of her work has been translated by Barney Tabagchi. A translation, by Apala G. Egan, of her story The Princess Baby appeared in J. Journal, New Writing on Justice, Spring 2014. J. Journal is the literary journal housed at John Jay College of Criminal Justice in New York City. Documentary, colon. Renowned director Rajasan made a documentary on Jyotirmoyi Devi as a tribute on her centennial. Bibliography, colon. 1. Jyotirmoyi Devi, E.P.A.R. Ganga, Oper Ganga, 1968. Translation. The River Churning, a partition novel, New Delhi, Cali for Women, 1995, from Bengali by Anakshi Chatterjee. 2. Jyotirmoyi Devi, The Impermanence of Lies, Calcutta, Stree, 1999, with introduction by Mahasvita Devi.